If you would like to healthify your child's lunchbox, the author of the upcoming book, Body Kindness, our dietitian Rebecca Scritchfield is here to show you how. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So this is my least favorite part about back to school <laughs> is getting back into making the lunches. Okay. Well, my ideas are going to make it easy okay, and good. good for you. Okay. So I want to start. This is actually my daughter's lunchbox. She's mm -hmm. going to preschool. And with Aww. preschoolers, you want to remember finger foods and yeah. offer a variety. Mm -hmm. So I've got like hard boiled eggs, peanut butter and jelly on whole wheat, but no, not too much of a sandwich. But I really want to highlight the fruits and vegetables, which I actually used canned carrots. Right. You don't have to cook them. Right, they're already soft. Yeah, they're a little mm -hmm. bit softer for the kids and also canned pears as well. And you know, the studies show that when kids eat um, canned foods, they mm -hmm. actually do get more fruits and vegetables. So keep in mind mm -hmm. that when you're using it for a convenience factor, mm -hmm. that it also helps to boost their nutrition and that the can actually locks in the nutrition, freshness, and flavor right when they're at their peak. Right, and I like the box too because it's all separated yes. for them too. Oh, all right, my no. daughter has to have that. Maybe for the older child. <laughs> yes, yes. This is like like middle school mm -hmm. to high school. So Saber we know for the hummus, it's super right. delicious, goes great with vegetables. They have something new coming out. It'll be in store September 1st. It's called Saber Spreads. I've always been using um, hummus uh -huh. in my chicken salad. This is actually going to be in a squeeze bottle. Oh, my So this easy. is mm -hmm. a canned chicken with cracked salt and pepper. They also are going to have honey mustard. Um, and it's great because it's going to add a different flavor and be super easy for you because all you have to do is squeeze it on your sandwich and it's really going to upgrade it for and the, the kids. And the canned chicken is just great protein. Love and, it. Yeah. And that will help them mm -hmm. with sustained energy. Energy right. for the afternoon. Sure. Um, I want to highlight beverages. I love water yeah. or milk as options mm -hmm. for kids. Um, if you're looking for higher protein, this is a real interesting milk I found called Fairlife Ultra Filtered. So they have in one cup, they've got 13 grams of protein. So it's double wow. the protein. They also have more calcium. What they do, it's just regular milk, but through the ultra filtration, mm -hmm. they can give you more protein. They take out the lactose, so it's good for right. lactose intolerance, and it's half the sugar of other white milk. I am showing chocolate milk too because that's great for after school right. sports and, it does. and I'm refueling. Looking at the labels here. And it, it has more sugar. Yes, for sure. because it's chocolate. Mm -hmm. And you know, my younger daughter doesn't really love um, white milk, yes. so once in a while, Gotta it's not a, a bad choice. Somehow. Yeah, but that's a great um, option that most people know about. All right. Last, this is my super this. sneaky <laughs> cheat. So this is reimagining leftovers when you're busy. Uh -huh. um, so this was a turkey burger, and um, I've just chopped it up, and it's going to become a burrito for the kids the next day. So this uses Butterball. It's farm to family. It's a new line. It's um, there's no antibiotics ever. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Um, American Humane Certified. So this is just certified. like a hamburger from the night before. Exactly, basically. that I'm using to make a, a, a burrito. And um, it's all vegetarian diet, which is, you know, people want to know about the quality of their meat and where it's coming from. Can I just say that you have now added a new phrase to my <laughs> dinner repertoire? What is that? It's not leftovers, it's reimagined. It's reimagined, it's creativity. It. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> Consumer Alert is coming up next with a tip to help college students avoid the pitfalls of identity politics.